students, the moment we've all been waiting for. We will now crown our LHS from King and Queen. I have to go. Just five more seconds, Maria. What if you win? I can't wait, Robert. I'll be in so much trouble. Your mom will understand when you take the crown home to her. Your prom king is... Wow. Surprising. David Evans. Lucky devil. And now, your prom queen. Maria, just a second, please. Tonight is a night full of surprises, it seems. Maria Marshall. Students of LHS, class of 2021, your prom king and queen.
she's in the kitchen. Your mom will understand when you take the crown home to her. I go to the bathroom for five minutes and you guys dance without me. You will not do it again, sir. You'd better not. <laughs> uh. What's on your mind? You got it tomorrow. I know. Did you check your GPA with Miss Justice? I did. And? I might be pleasantly surprised tomorrow. Look at those nerds. <laughs> Heard Head that. Oh, break it up, guys. Let's talk something fun. Like what? We are graduating tomorrow, guys. We should go and sleep on time. Shut up, Archie. My mom soon come down and drive us anyway. Shut up, Olive. We better wrap up then. Okay. What is that? A gift for Archie. Wow, it's so pretty. Right? I just thought I should give him this since he got me that necklace for my birthday. It's very nice. Will you surprise him with it? Yes. I just need you to take it tonight and bring it to graduation tomorrow. What? Wait. What? Why? My mom is nosy. I don't want her accidentally stumbling on it. Also, I don't trust myself to remember to bring it tomorrow. You'll wake up late and rush to dress and leave it in the drawer or something. Exactly. <laughs> I just want to tell Archie thank you for being so cool, sweet, kind. Sometimes to me, he doesn't seem real. I'm just really glad he does exist. Mm. So cute, I could bark. <laughs> All right, my friends. I think I will take my leave. Mm. Esther, what were you guys talking about? Nothing that concerns you, Archie. You just head on home. Oliver, are you chasing me out of your house? You and Adam and Romeo. Oh, Adam, wait. You said you would tell us what changed in tomorrow's program. Oh, right, right. Why not? We have an early day tomorrow and I need my beauty sleep. You guys is already fine like this. Which one is beauty sleep? <laughs> what do you want? What do you want? Just to promise that if you win best of our graduating students tomorrow, you give me your prizes. Okay. What? what? Just like that. I don't need them as much as he does, and I'm satisfied with the titles alone. Hmm. This one you to have formed a bond since the competition. Romy, let me warn you, we're not accepting new friends in our group. It's just me, Olive, and Ada. And Archie, and Maria, and David, and Romeo. Simple. And Robert. Uh, I'll draw the line at Robert. I agree. Who are you to agree or not? <laughs> uh -uh. See this one? Where did you come from? from here? Eh? Is it not just, See, is it not just when, you when that you joined this, this school? Agree. Before you that went, you, before you went, you that. You that guy for you, 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 you see that.
Hi, Mom. Hi. What got everything to do? Yeah, right. Today, we will finally be leaving high school for good. No more tests, exams, or homework. And finally, a step into the next phase in our lives. Did you speak to Engineer Frank about keeping the music light and calm? I did, ma'am. He has an approved playlist, ready and waiting. And the volunteers, they should be getting the assignments by now, right? Yes. Ushering and traffic took most of them. But we're able to cover all teams. Hmm. Beautiful. I love everything. I mean, um, let's get the other teachers out to be on standby and I hope VP Okora is ready with his cue cards. He's our MC. Madam Principal, everything is set and waiting for our esteemed students and their families. Nothing will go wrong today. I promise. Keep it up, Ben. Oliver, are you ready? Yes, Mommy. All right. Don't be upset. I have to run to the office and put out a fire. A theoretical one, I hope. You and me both. I'm just sorry we can't go together. But I'll fix it as quickly as I can on me today. Don't stress about it, Mom. I'm sure it'll be fine. And I'll be leaving the driver behind for you, so don't worry about running late. I'll meet you when I'm done, okay? Okay. See you. Bye. That's not. Uh-uh. Did I remove it from my bag? What is this? What is this? I cleaned up after they left and Agatha won't come till tomorrow. Yes, mommy, I'm looking for a gift box that was in my purse from yesterday. Did you take it? I haven't touched anything. What was inside? A bracelet. It was Esther's one. I didn't touch anything, no, Olive. Maybe ask your friends. Esther could have taken it too. But don't stress about it. Focus on your graduation and we'll deal with it later. Yes, mom. Thanks.
Oli? Omo Esther, big problem. What is it? That artist gift you told me to bring today. Don't tell me what I think you're telling me. That's just the thing. I can't find it. I put it in your bag last night. Your golden purse. Olive, check. Esther, I know, but I've not seen it. I can't find it. I've checked everywhere. Are you sure? I even asked my mom. Did you? What if she's hiding it or something? Why would she? For what? I don't know, Olive. I don't like this at all. Esther, I'm coming and we'll find it together after the ceremony. After grad? You don't take my thing seriously. You probably thought it was silly and you misplaced it. It meant a lot to me, Olive. A lot. It was important to me. Even if you didn't think it was important, couldn't you have been careful with it for my sake? Look for it, Olive. It's there. Just keep looking. I don't take any excuses. What's wrong? What's happened? Just Olive thinking she's more important than everyone else. Again. Let's go and sit down. They've started. If all graduating students could please put on their caps and gowns, we are going straight into the processional. Oh, how lovely. Our prom king and queen are here. Mm. And seated together. It was a coincidence. I should be sitting next to her. This is bracelet for God's sake. Outgoing students, welcome to your graduation event. Are we excited? Yes. You're late. I'm here now. Hey guys. At LHS. It has always been our goal to support our students' dreams, to provide the foundations that they need for the futures that they want. And here seated before us today is a generation that will change the world with their dreams. Sure, we must praise their intelligence, their diligence and conduct as students. But most importantly, we must also praise their kindness, their courage and their hearts. They've all made LHS proud. And we celebrate with them today as a school, as a community, but most importantly, as a family. But today, I won't be taking much of your time. There are much more interesting speeches to be made and much more interesting people to make them. So I'll be wrapping up here. At this juncture, I would like to call Vic Piokoro back to the podium to continue with the program. So I say, relax, try to have fun, and celebrate yourselves, okay? Another round of applause for our distinguished principal. We'll soon be celebrating our graduating class. But first, a first address by an LHS alumnus who has made us so proud over the years. She has made such incredible strides as a student of Barron University, London. Now, in her final year, we are so glad that she's available to us on her personal visit home. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Miss Ima Harrison. God, where is Olive? Guys, where's Olive? I'm calling but she's not picking up. Four years.
years ago, I too sat in those seats with my peers, my classmates, eager to step into the next phase of our lives. We'd spent six years figuring out who we were and what stuff we were made of. We were eager to find where we fit in, struggling to form our identities. Fast forward to the present, four years later. Today, we're still answering some of those questions. The point is, don't rush. We're all on different paths to different destinations, some seemingly faster and others slower. When you go out into the world, let truth and compassion be your compass. It won't be popular and it won't be easy. But I urge you, strive to be the person whose heart beats true to what is good and right and fair. Lighthouse Secondary Class of 2022, the future beckons. Whatever path you take, never stop learning and never ever give up. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful, Miss Harrison. We are moving along smoothly into the presentation of awards to this year's high-functioning graduates. Distinguished parents and guardians, this is where we award gifts to students who have gone above and beyond to excel in various aspects of their education, including, of course, the best graduating students in science, technical, and arts. We will also be awarding the overall best graduating student one diligent recipient from among this stellar set. Ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause for our lovely principal as she takes the stage. This is the exciting part, isn't it? Yes. I'm also excited to be awarding students who have made themselves proud. Where is she hidden herself? I almost forgot my phone. Driver, please go, go, go. Hello, mommy. Olive, where are you? I'm on my way, mommy. I'm almost there. What do you mean you're almost there? Almost where? Aren't you seated? I just left the house. You'll see me in five minutes and I'll explain everything. You better hurry, because we'll soon call your name. Yes, mommy. Now, the best graduating science, art, and technical. For science, the highest GPA is... Mbottidem Thompson. Where's Olive? We don't know yet. Her mom is here. And the best technical student is... Roslyn Joseph. Also, did she pick? Her line is busy. Adam, what are you doing here? They might call your name. And then I'll go up from here, no biggie. We are going to get in trouble. Ah, we are not students anymore now. Eh, almost. Good night. And the overall best art student award goes to... It's you. Olive Lane! Oh no! Olive Lane, please come up and receive your award.
All right. It seems the student in question is... She's, she's here. here. Oli, gently, calm down. Kill you. All right, looks like she's made it. A round of applause for our best graduating art student, Miss Olive Lane. Oh wait, Olive. You might as well come back because you are this year's overall best graduating student with the highest GPA in all SS3 classes combined. Don't tell me you're going to miss graduation just because of the two bugs. I have it, so come now. I know what it says. I wrote it. Why were you in my purse? You were holding my keys for me, remember? When we were dancing at the prom. Right. I went to take it. Why'd you take the box? I thought I was preventing you from making a mistake. Wasn't I? What mistake? Isn't this present for Adam? <laughs> what? For Adam. Tokens like this could cause complications. False hope is cruel, Olive. He might think he's too special to you. Is he? Don't you have enough baby sisters? Are you really trying to add me to the list? Second, I'm not giving anyone false hope. I told you I was going to walk the straight and narrow of singlehood, and I am. I don't appreciate that you doubted me and took action when you could have just asked me. Oh, who's the box for? It's Esther's gift to Archie. She asked me to hold it for her so she could gift it to him today. Oh. Yeah, oh. You're nosy and you don't know how to mind your business. I learned from the best. Let me kick you. I'm sorry. You should be. I'm really sorry, Olive. It's Olivia. Oh, my mistake. I'm glad you spoke up because Esther wouldn't have let me graduate without it. She was really upset. I'll fix it. No, I'll fix it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Let me come with you. Fine. But well, let me talk first. Okay. 
Esther, are you going for a minute? Well, if I don't want to hear any more excuses, I'm mad at you. I know. I told you you're careless when it comes to me. Never, Esther. I'm never careless with you. And I'm sad that she thinks that. She should have trusted me. It wasn't cool that she thought that finding Archie's present was more important than your best friend attending her graduation. Archie is my boyfriend. A good and loyal one too. Yes, but this was my graduation. You know how important it is to me. And today was not a day to test my loyalty because you know it's always with you. Remember what I told you. That we express love differently doesn't mean it's not love. I heard you. But this was important to me the same way your graduation was important to you. I get that. Okay then. Where was it? I took it. You what? It was a misunderstanding. I thought it was Olive's own. So? I took it. Why? That's between me and Olive. Be playing your sticky fingers. I'm going to give this to Archie. Did she just say Don't that? take it to heart. She didn't mean it. But she did. Ma! Ah. So what's the next step now? I guess sticking around? Not sure yet. Our parents have made arrangements for us to meet them in Canada. What? Didn't they come? Congratulations, big brother! <laughs> Didn't you congratulate me already? What do you want? Nothing. I'm just glad you three are finally leaving so I can take over the school. <laughs> She's not kidding. I love him, but them. Congratulations, Lollipop. <laughs> Thank you. Did you seem to collect all those awards? Mm. Overall best in arts, overall best in the entire class, mm. best in English, government, French. And I also saw you being late to receive those awards. Yeah. Long story. You missed my speech. Sorry. Eh, it's okay. Nothing you haven't heard before. <laughs> I should go and join my friends so we can take pictures and everything. I wonder who that is. Why don't you go find out? Wow! Sounds like Olive heard some good news. I have a feeling it has something to do with Baron University. Imagine coming late to your own graduation and winning everything. <laughs> Such a flex. Esther, did she even tell you why she was late? Nothing to worry about anymore. Let's do a group photo, guys, with everybody. Okay. Uh, Maria. Join us. Iris, Ivy, Romeo. Olive. Olive, you did great with the prom decor. It turned out beautifully. Well done. Oh, thanks, Iris. It turned out great thanks to your visionary guidance. Thank you for allowing me to contribute. I must concede and be a graceful loser. You won of our best graduating students by means of witchcraft decors. If anyone else would have won, I would have wanted it to be you. How did you do it anyway? <sighs> I did my homework, literally. And lots of extra credit assignments. You know, I wrote the book on being the top student. You should read it sometime. Congrats. <laughs> Thank you. Guys, are we doing this group photo or what? We're doing it. <laughs> Sir, when we we're we ready. We used to sit on the grass. So I need you to. to 
spit out the little. Yeah. I'm on the flower. Okay. We just let the days pass by. People would tell us to get a grip of ourselves and get a job. We didn't care what we were told. Cause when we were younger, we used to sit on the grass and go, damn, I don't wanna grow old. I wish I could turn back time. Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace. We didn't mind sitting out in the cold. It was impossible to make us embarrassed. We were free. I don't know how I let Robert talk me to this nonsense. And I might trusted you. <laughs> Your first mistake, man. Ready for one more round? Yeah, me too. <laughs> no, I'm done. Robert is playing rough. Ah, uh, sorry, my G, but this is Bibo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you have to be your A game. Hey, Robert, you're all over the place. Looking like a troll loser. Oh. You know, I wish we had more artists like this. But at last, everyone will be going their separate ways. I personally can't wait to leave this town. Yeah, me too. By the way, guys, I hope you haven't made any urgent plans because Robert is inviting us for a camp out. One final epic get together before we all scatter. What camp out? Okay, all right. So, a family friend owns this massive property just outside of town, coming in a wood type of vibe. And I thought we could go out there and hang out, play game, outdoor grill, all that jazz. Okay, you're yeah. speaking my language. <laughs> when? Uh, in a couple of days. Are you down? Just us guys, right? No, 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 not just us guys. Olive, Esther and Maria too. Okay, even better. Why? Hmm? Why is that even better? But are you guys down? Yeah, yeah. yeah one, one more game. One more game, one more game. Now you guys can't yourself. Okay. Hardest lesson I learned this year. I can deal with being alone and chasing my goals more than I can deal with the distraction of love. Hmm. Months ago, I thought Adam and I would be together again, but... But you're still friends, right? But we're more cautious around each other. That's called growing up. It's also called the side effect of dating your best friend. Trust me. Things will settle as you continue to mature. It's all part of life. Eh, part of life. Don't let it become this awkward, ugly thing between you. How's Esther been with everything? She's been Esther. Mm, at least she always has your back, right? Right. Actually, about that. Uh-oh. Don't worry, we're still besties. But something happened, and I don't know how to feel about it. What happened? <clears throat> she gave me a bracelet to hold for her. It was a grad gift for Archie. On grad day, I couldn't find it where I kept it and I looked for it everywhere, but nothing. So I called her and told her I would keep looking after grad. She totally went off on me, said I was careless with her and she didn't want to see me unless I had the bracelet. Wow. I know. That's why I was late to grad. Did you talk to her about it? Wait, did you even find the bracelet? Yes, I found it. And I tried to talk to her, but she insisted that giving Archie his bracelet was important to her the way graduation was important to me. Hmm. I don't understand it. To me, it feels like Esther has finally found the confidence to be her own person and walk her own lane. I get it if she wasn't ready then. People bloom at different times, but it doesn't make what she did okay. She even insulted Romeo on top. It was not okay. It's not. 
She refuses to see reason. What can I do? If you've pointed it out to her, then you've done your best. I know she's better than this. I'll just give her time. I'm sorry. <sighs> so, are we seeing this movie or what? <sighs> Let's do it. Hey Emma, hi Olive. I'm here to save you guys from your boredom. You guys are eating without me. Not fair. What are you doing here? I told you not to come. Why wouldn't I come? I hope we're not disturbing you guys. We can leave if we are. We're not. You are. We have to hang out before everyone scatters forever. Emma is leaving soon. I'm sure Emma doesn't mind. Right, Emma? <laughs> she minds. I don't mind that much. What about our movie? We'll finish our movie later, okay? I promise. I think your friends really want to hang out with you. Come on, Olive. Don't poop on the party. I have to pack anyway. Have fun, guys. You just die away. Come on, Olive. We have something way too exciting to miss. What? Robert has planned this mad camp out and we're all invited. Camp out? Like a farewell trip for all our friends. Where? At his family friend's property just outside town. And you couldn't text me this? Loosen up! It's this weekend and we're here to coordinate outfits. But it's just a camping trip. That's where you're wrong. It's not just a camping trip. We need to look cute. And it's the last time we're all going to hang out like this together. <laughs> How the tables have turned. To your room! How long is the camp out? One or two nights. And our parents are just going to let us spend the night out unsupervised at Robert's family friend's house. Ah. Those are the real questions. So he broke your heart. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing. <laughs> I'm fine, fine. I'm going to end this. Mm. Okay. Was he boring? Mr. Ben? Miss Lucille. Good evening. Yeah. What are you doing here? Um, I, I was meeting with some old friends. So you were the ones having fun? Yes. I saw you turn and look at us. I didn't realize it was you. I would have come and said hi. Please, sit with me. Are you sure? Aren't Please. you expecting someone? I got stood up. Oh no. Oh. It's been an hour of cold text, nothing. I'm sorry. It's okay. I was going to leave, but I'll stay and keep you company for a bit. Your friends? Oh, they're fine. They're discussing. Uh, something I can't keep up with. I think I understand that. Um, you're supposed to be in a day? My mom wants me happy and in love. Hmm. Are you ready to go out again? I am. Just waiting for a nice girl and try to make it work. Careful and call me when you get there. Don't forget I need the chaperone's number. Sure, Mom. Love you. Bye, girl. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>
Yo! You guys are so energetic. I'm early. We have only one day and one night there. So we have to go on time. Mm -hmm. in, 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 in. Roll out. Roll out. Olivia, you made it. Don't you have to be at work? Nice to see you too. All loaded. Let's go. All right. So we just have to get Devin now. Iris and Ivy too. Don't forget. What? what? Relax, guys. It'll be fun. I don't want the stuck up girls to come. I actually don't mind that much. No, Olive, we're not accepting new friends. How did you agree on that? I thought you were cool with Ivy. Mm, doesn't mean she's my bestie. Right, right. You know we're going to have other friends outside each other, right, Esther? Not allowed. Sorry, too late. I already have Robert. And Romeo. At least, I, I think we're friends. We are. And Olive has a ton. Not a ton, just a few others I resonate well with. I'm the only one that resonates well with you. And David, and Romeo. Iris isn't all that bad, but she just pretends to be scary. Maria too, but she isn't a new addition. You guys suck. I don't want nobody else but you. Yeah, yeah, you already have Archie. Right. Archie. But just him. I'm on a star. You're welcome. Can you help me pass my bag behind you? Okay. Here you go. Thank you. I have snacks! Yo! Snacks! 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 Snacks!
pitching your tent? I thought you were sleeping inside. We'd better be. Of course we are. Let's upload our things and see the place. Where is the chaperone? Huh? Um, you meet us here later. Jumping from cliffs so high. <gasps> 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 Robert, huh? I'm sure the owners knew we were coming. Uh, I talked to my uncle and he said everything was set. Nothing is set, Robert. Obviously not. So do we have to clean this place out now or what? I think we should sleep outside. What? No, you're on your own. Let's clean up and sleep here. Speak for yourself. Guys? Actually, I like the idea of sleeping outside. I mean, we brought tents anyway. And we have slabs and mosquito nets. Would it really be camping if we didn't sleep outside? Well, um, I'm not a fan of sleeping outside. We don't even have to sleep in the same space. Those that want to sleep outside can sleep there. And the indoor people will clean it. And sleep here. Awesome. Uh, I will start setting up outside. <laughs> Esther, it really would be better outside. Trust me. You were supposed to take my side, Olive. But no. Come on, girly. You know it would be better outside. Come with us. No, thank you. Olive. Huh? I'm pitching my tent next to yours. Ooh, why? She be no karate now. Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I I really wanna know What? Don't tell me you switch sides too. Keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high How's it going? Oh, Adam, good. Please help me set this thing up before it collapses on my head while I'm sleeping. Sky is falling down What are you guys up to? Setting up the tent. You're doing rubbish. Get up, let me see it. That's right, my slaves. Fix it up. I'll go check on Esther. No, you're turning it the wrong way. No, to the right. Turn it to the right. Esther, I'm turning it to the right. Well, it's only getting worse. Well, I guess we mean my left. We're facing each other. My mistake, I should have understood. Yeah, you should have. Hey guys, how's it going? Ditch us until the end, Olive. I didn't ditch you guys, and it looks like you're making progress. Do you need some help? Archie? Sorry, no. I think we're fine, the worst of it is over. As if I've been sneezing like a maniac for the past hour. Esther, maybe you guys should... Don't worry about it, Olive. <sighs> Come, let's talk outside. And the air is nice too. Come, let's talk. I'll go see what the others are up to. <coughs> Bless you.
Esther, what's going on with you? What do you mean? This place sucks. Do you remember what you said to Romeo at grad? He said he had sticky fingers. Didn't he? He took what didn't belong to him. But it's the way you said it. You people are your sticky fingers. It's like you were referring to his family, to Gloria. Well, I wasn't. And on the bus, you said beggars can't be choosers. So? It's like you were calling him poor, when all he did was ask for another snack. I didn't know poor. Well, they're not beggars, and you know it better. Stop acting like this. All this attack is for what now, Olive? You already know I'm upset about this rubbish trip, and now you're talking some abstract thing about Romeo. I'm just trying to help you. Well, your timing sucks. And why do you care what Romeo thinks? Did he put you up to this? He's too proud for that. <laughs> You've been off, and I'm just trying to show you before you ruin this camp out for yourself. Oh, so now I'm ruining the camp out for myself. All right, calm down. No need to get worked up about it. Tell yourself that. I was fine until you dragged me out here to accuse me. Just chill, beloved. You know I can't be mad at you even though you're acting like a donkey. I'm not. Fine. I'm not mad. Let's just have a nice time, okay? <laughs> you can continue with your setup. Oh, and take it easy on Archie. He might need a face mask or something. Worry about yourself. Your issues are never ending, Aaron's day. Why are you always creeping about? I was in the toilets and your conversation kept me entertained. Why is it stop being like that? I don't know. Well, just pray she figures it out before she manages to ruin the mood. I don't like what I was hearing. Yes, sir. I'm on it, sir. Why did you even come? This is not your usual crowd. True. So, where are your bandmates? I'm sure Robert would have let them come. They already traveled, and Michael went to meet up with John. He missed him too much. Right. Besides, I'm still figuring out my next move. And I thought it would be nice to come here and just think. I find some clarity. Right. Right. Make sure you utilize the time. Talk to other people. Make friends. Your solo act is robbing you of life's joys. I'll think about it. Let me go and check on my tent in case those boys have set up a trap. All right. Robert! <laughs> Where's the chaperone? I need to update my mom. Still no network. What do you mean he's not coming? Wait, calm down. So I swear my older cousin was supposed to be here. But he had an emergency. And it takes me an hour ago that he won't be able to come. Wait, you've been sitting on this for an hour? I didn't know how to tell you guys. Don't worry, we are safe. There are armed guards at the gate. And the driver is on hand to take us wherever, whenever. That's not the point. My mom needs to know an adult is supervising us, you know. Being highly functional teenage boys and girls. This is literally the start of every American horror film. Wait, where are you going? I still need to call my mom. I'll try to convince her to let me stay. Robert, yeah. what did you bring this for? I'm so sorry. I didn't know it was loaded. Maria, listen to me. No matter what, don't drop the gun. He'll get you back for sure. What should I do? Keep shooting him. Charge! No, no. Okay, okay, okay. Friday night around seven, stuck behind your desk and by the phone.
this shit quick. That makes it. She said she trusts my judgment on that past thing. Guys, it's getting late. Won't you cook dinner? Cook? Uh, yeah, I forgot to mention that part. If we want to eat, we have to cook. Oh, that smells so good. Maria, when do we get to eat? When we say it's ready. Well, it's been cooking forever. Just serve it. We are starving. Learn how to cook if you want to call the shots. Starving. All right. Bring your plates, guys. It's ready. David. Guys, this is so good. You haven't even said it yet. That's how good it is. Thank you. No. Mm. Just give me more. Sorry. Shouldn't we take some to Essa and Archie? Start eating. I'll take it. Romeo, please bring me the extra plates. Guys, guys, guys! I just remember this cool thing that happened with my cousin one time. I love your scary stories. Yes, daddy! <laughs> what are you guys doing? We we heard something scary. What do you want? <coughs> For the last time, Archie, please stop spraying me. Yeah, this might help. Who cooked this? Uh, Romeo and Maria. Romeo cooked? Yes. So? Huh. What? Can you take this? It's burning my hand. Leave it there. Really, you guys should just join us outside. It's breezy but warm. And the company isn't bad at all. Let's just hope I don't get food poisoning from this. It's really good, Esther. You should dig in. What? It's enough. I've had enough. Mm -hmm. 
And you know how you're like staring at something in the dark and your mind is convincing you that it's a ghost or something. That's exactly what happened to me. I saw a man with three arms staring back at me. His clothes were blowing in the breeze. Sorry. Fear gripped me. I tried to shake it off. I was going to let it go. Until my cousin asked if I could see it too. What's that? What's that? Relax. You just stay stand, can't you? Oh. <sighs> what? What is happening? I swear there's a rat in there. Eh? Flesh eating rats. Better than the ghosts out here. Huh? Eh? Ghosts? Mm hmm. You guys should bring your things and join us. No way we're going back in there. Everybody just look around you. What was that? Just relax. I'm sure it is. Guys, please tell me you can see that. I'm sorry I'm late, guys. <laughs> Iris! What are you doing here? Yeah, aren't you supposed to be halfway around the world by now? Watch out for hostile shots. I changed my mind. Let me guess. Romeo took the liberty of inviting you. Actually, I did. Why? She has been a friend, so it was only fair to at least invite her. I didn't think she would come. I was already in lag when I decided I had to be here, so I flew back. Well, I'm glad you're here. Yeah, me too. Sit down, we'll help you unpack later. Thank you, guys. So, where were we? Esther, what exactly is your problem with me? Esther. If you won't talk, you should go back to your rat-infested room. Fine. No, Esther, talk. Esther, what's going on? That's what I would like to know. I don't know what he's talking about. Really? Romeo, what's going on? The night of prom, when we're all back at Ollie's place, I went to get my keys from Ollie's post, and I found this little ring box inside. I got curious and I opened it. It was a bracelet from Esther to Archie. I didn't know at that time. Anyway, I took the bracelet so I could ask Olive about it later. I didn't want her to do anything stupid. That's between me and Olive. After graduation, she explained everything to me and I returned the gift to Esther and apologized. But all she has done since then is act stupid and make snide remarks. You're the one who is acting stupid. Guys, calm down. Can I say something? No, you can't. I will anyway. Obviously, it was an honest mistake from Romeo's part, which he apologized for. It still doesn't warrant the negative energy you've given us the entire trip, Esther. Esther, why don't you tell me what's really going on? Wait, did, did Olive's late arrival to grad have anything to do with the bracelets? That's not what matters. What is important is that we all air our feelings and come to a resolution so we can enjoy the rest of the night. Right, Esther? Esther, what's the problem? You know what? I'll just apologize to all of you. Romeo, Olive, Adam, Archie, Maria, David, Iris, and you, Robert, for ruining your night. Esther, nothing is ruined yet. Just tell us what's going on, because this obviously isn't you. Isn't it? I should be asking you guys what's wrong with you. Wait, what's, what's wrong with us? We're literally parting ways after this. All of us. Different schools, different states, countries. Everything is falling apart. Esther, why do you think that? Nothing is falling apart. But it is! And you're all sitting here smiling and eating and joking like... like... I guess I'm the only one that cares enough about our friendship. Esther, stop. 
You're not the only one who cares. We all do. That's, that's why we're here tonight. We're making the most out of an inevitable change. Yup. Going to university is huge. It changes everything we know, but we can't fight against it. We just have to be ready for it and accept it with courage. And just because we're all here smiling doesn't mean we don't all feel it. I am personally saving my tears for the final goodbyes tomorrow. That doesn't justify her behavior towards me. No, it doesn't. It's actually your fault, Olive. My fault? I'm mad at Romeo because he's the one you've been talking to and not me. And David too. And Maria and Iris. And this tells me that when you go to uni, you'll totally forget about me. That is not true. You're my best friend. Absolute best friend. But that doesn't mean I won't click with other people on some level. And me? What am I supposed to talk to when you're hanging out with your new buddies? Sure, I'll talk to other people, but they don't get me like you do. I'll have to start over. Can you imagine what it was like for me when I moved to LHS? I left everything behind. All my friends too. And then I met you guys and we became friends. My point is, there are things you can't control. But that's how life is. Just focus on the things we can control. Like your attitude towards new situations. Because yours sucks right now. Wait, you think I'm not scared? I'm leaving my band behind. In fact, you are probably officially disbanded once you enter university. Ivy and I aren't even going to the same place. We were accepted differently. She's literally my twin, but you don't see me backing at everyone because of it. I think it's scary for all of us in different way. Facing the unknown without the security of the people who usually help us. It's tough. And let me blow your mind. When you get to uni, you might even be the one to move on. Not Olive. Never. Never say never. Or, or, you and Olive and me might survive this divide and be best friends until forever. You know, I'm being a sour grape won't help anyone. Olive is just as upset as you are. I highly doubt that. I know you're worried that you're going to lose me. But I, for one day, have never thought I would lose you because I trust us and our friendship. And things may happen, but all we can do is give it our best shot. Mm -hmm. And even if life gets in the way and we part ways by whatever tragedy, I'll always be thankful for everything, knowing you guys have taught me. Cheer up. It's not the end of the world. It only just seems like it. Like now, Esther, what would be appropriate is an apology to everyone. It's good you explained your feelings, but it still doesn't justify your behavior. David, please. She's feeling bad already. Bro, we all are. No, he's right. I'm, I'm sorry, everyone, for ruining your vibe. It's okay. Esther, aren't you forgetting something? What? Romeo's specific apology. Oh. Oh. I'm fine without it. I've already let it go. I know she has a hand in you being late to grad. Don't deny it. In life, I'm learning there are some battles worth fighting. This isn't one of them. Hmm. Deep. One day Astra will be able to decide if what she did was wrong or right. But that's her own journey to make. And regardless of what she finds, I'll be her friend. No conditions. <sighs> it's the understatement of the year to say that you've changed. I haven't just changed. I've evolved.
I'm not really here in my head. I fear this is more than we know. Goodbyes, all the worst. Feels like it's a curse. Guess I'll see you when we go. But all things must end, and we can't pretend we don't see it coming. Reality's changed, and we must be brave as the world keeps turning. Oh, hold on to me just a little longer. <laughs> Good morning, my neighbors. Shut up, Robert. Wake up, pretty boy. A new day awaits. Oliver, are you awake? Fully! Your mouth stinks! <laughs> what are friends for? Come, stand up. Let's go and brush before you injure someone else. No. Come, let's go before the boys wake up. Five more minutes. Hey, Olive. Iris. Did you sleep well? Barbaric experience, but an experience nonetheless. How do you look so good so early in the morning? Night routine and excellent jeans. Guys, guys, there's no water. What do you mean there's no water? No water. So how are we supposed to bath and brush? Oh, how nice. You guys are awake already. Ah, beautiful morning, isn't it? Oh, hi, Maria. Oh, you look so cute in the morning. Don't worry, ladies. Have this morning's schedule and everything under control. Robert, there's no water in camp. Can you get that under control? What? No water? I'll talk to the security people. Yeah, you should. Rob to the rescue. <laughs> Who glued your lips together? My morning breath is not cute. Isn't there any bottled water? I think we have a few packs in the bus. Let's all brush outside together. That would be fun. Brush outside? How primitive. Part of the experience. I'll get water from the bus. Let me go and wake Esther again. She won't want to miss this. I'll stand here and wrap my mind around the idea. Make sure we don't forget anything. Sir Robert, what else do you have planned for us? Oh, nothing much. 
Just something small to end the trip on a high note. Okay. All aboard! You give me happy memories Chasing fireflies and climbing trees We'll follow the rainbow till we touch the sky Every moment with you is so alive We're telling funny stories then we're dancing out in the breeze Oh, I'd capture this in a sing song If I could wish we'd never change So many, many moves Happy is me, happy is you Happy is us, cause our feelings are true Happy is love, pure as a dove Happy is times when I'm dreaming with you Guys, guys, wow. I don't know when next we'll see each other again, but I do know that this past six years of knowing you have literally changed my life, and I couldn't ask for it any other way. And so let's raise a toast to the future, uncertain as it may seem, we're certain we can call on each other whenever we want. To us. To us. To us. Lights are shining like the stars I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high Six years and a lifetime's worth of memories I'll never forget and neither will you. You can take me high.